Yo, what up, YouTube? It's the Lore Master. We're going to be talking about Orville Season 3. It's actually called Orville New Horizons this time around because Hulu picked it up. It was dropped by cable, and Hulu picked it up, so they're calling it Orville New Horizons. Each episode is going to be about an hour long. The first episode is an hour and ten minutes. The next episode is like an hour and six or eight minutes, something like that. So it used to be 46 minutes on cable. Now it's hour long. We get more story. Hopefully we get the same amount of episodes. We'll have to wait and find out about that. Um, but Orville picks up where it left off from season two, which was like four or three years ago when we had season two at this point. Um, in season two, there was a battle between the Kalon and the Federation, the people, the like the Starfleet kind of people. And Kalon are like a robot species and they like destroyed a bunch of humans. And one of the crew members on board the Orville from past seasons, he's called Isaac. He's a robot. He's one of the Kalon. So people were like kind of being mean to him because they're like your people and you killed all of us in this big battle. So they're like harassing him over the past few months. And um, it leads to a point where so Isaac takes like the logical path, it, it lists what it seems is logical. And he ends his life by like EMP in his brain or something like that because he realizes that the crew is not functioning optimally when he, when he's around. So he's like, well, if I remove myself, the crew would function optimally. So I'll just remove myself from the situation. So he tries to kill himself, essentially. Because um, he's being harassed and he realizes that the crew doesn't like him and stuff. And they're not working right. So he does that. And then the crew are just kind of like mourning and dealing with that situation. Or like, he didn't feel emotions, but he's like, he pretty much felt emotions. Kind of is like what they're getting at. Uh. Yeah, this was like an hour-long episode. It probably could have been like 40 minutes, to be honest. It, it was a lot of filler for... It was just an okay episode in general. Like, kind of disappointing for the Orville. I think maybe since, like, the Orville was so good because Star Trek was so bad and hopping back into the over now that we got a decent Star Trek show, it's like, Orville's just kind of all right at this point. So hopefully we can get some good Orville episodes. This was one of the more serious episodes, like... Orville is kind of like a comedy because it's Seth MacFarlane's show. So, like, some episodes are kind of comedy. But later in the season two, they kind of got more serious with it. Because people were wanting it to be more of a Star Trek show, right? But I think they can kind of go... They should go back to the comedy aspect at this point because we got a decent Star Trek show. And I think that would help because right now it's just kind of like an all right show. Anyway, getting back into it. Um, Isaac kills himself. They kind of, like... Well, what do we do now? They kind of just leave his body. He's going to get sent off for research. But uh, the ship's undergoing a refit. It's just kind of like a... It's like a pilot episode almost, really, just getting back into the show. Ship's undergoing a refit. Um, they're getting new, like, shuttles and equipment and stuff. Kind of some new crew members. Uh, I think her name's Charlie or something like that. Doesn't like Isaac. She's like one of those people that blames him for the death of her friend. Isaac is, uh, he's died or whatever, so they, f they figure out a way to, like, take part of, like, he had, like, a crystal memory core or something like that. It's, like, a backup coding that they can upload into his new body or something. I don't know. It was weird. They, f they figure out a way to bring it back, essentially, and he's like, oh, okay. And then that's kind of how the episode ends. They figure out a way to bring him back, and they're dealing with that now. Again, it was, like, too long of an episode for the story they told, I felt like. But it was just to get people back into it. So hopefully next episode there, it picks up a bit. But as of right now, Orville's just kind of all right. It's nothing special. I would, if you really want to watch like a space show, I would finish up Strange New Worlds, and then by that time, the Orville should have like six or seven episodes out, and then you can pick up Hulu and watch it. I would definitely hold off if you don't have Hulu, at least for right now. We'll see when episode two runs around if it gets better. But it's just kind of all right. That's where we're at with it, at least for me. Other people may enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And yeah, I'll be doing an Obi-Wan season review when that finishes up in a few weeks. There's only six episodes. We just got season episode three. So I'll be doing that. And stay tuned.